Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here and thanks for watching my videos. And today I'm going to be continuing my um, series of videos for beginning couponers. And I have all these videos uh, for beginning couponers linked in a playlist. It's called New Couponers Start Here. And it's really easy to find if you go over to my YouTube homepage. You'll see the playlist there. And I'll be continuing to add more videos as time goes by. All right, so today I wanna to talk about how many inserts do you need each week, okay? And the best thing I can tell you is, is it's all an individual thing. You know, the way I coupon is different from anybody else's couponing. And so in general, you, you're gonna to have to figure that out for yourself and it may change over time. And for me, it has changed over time. And one thing that I think has really influenced, you know, because, you know, there for a while, I was buying eight papers a week to get eight sets of inserts. But the internet printable business has increased so much that I have cut back and I only get four papers a week because a lot of times the coupons that I want have been printable or there might be a better printable coupon than what we get in the inserts or whatever, okay? But a way, you know, I would say have two sets of inserts. That's a good thing to start off with, especially. Um, and, you know, because a lot of deals require you to buy two of something. And also, if you find a really good deal on something and you're going to be stocking up on it, you don't want to just buy one. You want to get two, right? And um, also take into account that you have load to card coupons and a lot of the coupons we get out there are available that way as, as well. So that can give you an extra coupon if the store you're shopping at has loaded a card, electronic coupons. And um, so I decided to get four papers, okay, because I have to pay $1.50 for a newspaper on Sunday to get the inserts. So I have to take that into account. And some weeks I don't even buy papers. I look at the list of coupons that are coming or I physically look, get one paper, look at the insert, you know, the coupons that are there and then decide to buy whether I'm going to buy more papers or not. Because, um, you know, some weeks I don't even buy the paper when there's coupons in there because I just decide there is, it's not that much and it's not worth me paying a dollar fifty to get them. Um, other weeks I want more. I mean, I will still, if, you know, I think I bought like, eight or ten papers a couple of months ago one week because I knew there was some high value coupons in there and I was going to use all you know all of that particular coupon or several of the coupons in there so it was worth it to for me to get more papers um, you have to ask yourself why are you couponing you know if you're just couponing for your family yourself then you really don't need to have ten of something particularly <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, Maybe you don't, you aren't doing that. If you're trying to build up a stockpile um, for a large family and, you know, or something, you may want to have five or ten papers, you know, to start off with and then cut back after you feel like you've built up your stockpile. If your goal is to be donating products, so you want to buy everything that you can, then maybe you need a lot more papers because you're you're going to be looking to buy lots of stuff, okay? Um, or selling it if you're if you're into selling your um, coupon uh, stuff. So you may want to have a lot more um, coupons available, and in that case, you know. Depending on how much your newspaper costs, it may be better for you to find a place to buy coupons from. And don't ask me for anybody who sells coupons. I don't buy coupons, inserts, or individual coupons off the internet. I cannot recommend anybody to you. People ask me that all the time. Um, but I'm not going to recommend anybody because I don't buy from anybody. Um, so um, that might be a better option because, you know, I could probably get inserts you know, as much as I spend each week, $6 a week um, on four papers, I could probably buy 10 inserts, <laughs> okay, at least. Um, 10 sets of inserts or something. I don't know what the going rate is. But um, but for me, I don't want to have more coupons. That's where I have to be at in my life right now is I don't want to have a lot of extra coupons because it will cause me to go out and shop more and buy more and that's just where I'm at right now and I don't want to have more stuff <laughs> okay so because um, yeah I could be couponing a lot more than I actually do and 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 that's 
where I'm at in, in my life right now. So anyways, I hope that gives you an idea. Um, two papers is good to start off with. And if you really get into the couponing thing and you find you really like it and you want to really build up your stockpile, um, then certainly um, start getting more. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later.